everyone. Welcome back. Uh, so we have our next run coming up. Uh, we have Andy running Pokemon Pinball, Ruby and Sapphire. Uh, so without further ado, I'll go ahead and let Andy take it away. Thanks so much. Uh, my name is Andy. I'm going to be playing Pokemon Pinball, uh, Ruby and Sapphire. This is actually the second Pokemon Pinball game. Uh, some of you might be familiar with the Game Boy one, with the huge cartridge that had the the battery slot in it. Uh, but this one is uh, the second one, and uh, what my category is is going to be Defeat Rayquaza. Um, so how do you do that? Well, there's there's bonus stages. I, if you played the first one, you might remember there was like bonus stages, and then there was a Mewtwo bonus stage. So for this one, I'm going to be defeating Rayquaza, which would be the last bonus stage. Uh, and to get, well, there's three bonus stages, so there's going to be the Duskull, Dusclop stage, and then there's the Kyogre stage, and then Rayquaza. Um, so this will be just a short run, a bit of an intermission after the uh, Alpha Sapphire, and then I think we've got a long one coming up next. Uh, so you'll, you'll notice that I'm playing in Japanese, but uh, it doesn't actually make a difference. This is just the cartridge I happen to find. Uh, so I'm I'm ready to start. If the uh, whoever's running the timer is ready to start, it'll it'll uh, I'll give a countdown. Are we ready? Go ahead. Okay. Three, two, one, start. So the fastest way to get to the bonus stages is actually going to be to fill up these four lights, let's say hole, and then there's a specific shot I want to hit to hit Zigzagoon so that I can control where the slot machine lands. I didn't hit it there, but that's okay. If I miss it, sometimes it might actually be bad, but uh, this time it's alright. So, <laughs> probably will miss the first few times, but it's alright. That's the shot I want to hit, because it'll, it'll go right into the hole. So I'll be doing that a lot this run. Not a little early that time. not get the uh, warp to the Duskull stage there, but it's alright. So instead I'll just need to catch some, catch a couple of Pokemon, and then I can get there.
Okay, so once I evolve this uh, tentacle, it will allow me to go to the Dusclop stage, which is the first one of five I need to do. six again before I go in, just so I don't have to when I get back. I didn't get it. But I'll get it on the way back. So, uh, on this bonus stage, you have to hit, uh, I think, 20 of these Duskulls, and then Dusclops will appear, and you have to hit him five times, and then you beat the stage. Dusclops will appear after a couple of uh, earthquakes. And I just had to hit him five times, but I actually can't hit him from the front. You have to hit him from the back or when he starts walking. So I actually got three hits there. Once he starts walking, I can hit him. Otherwise, he'll uh, steal your ball for a second. Alright, that is one bonus stage done, so next one will be Kyogre. I just have to either try to win slots again a few times, or do the same thing where I catch and then evolve a Pokemon. It's actually a pretty tough shot to hit. Normally I can do it, but... Uh, okay, looks like I'm gonna catch one instead. And luckily, Magikarp can evolve, so I won't have to catch a second Pokemon. That's the one I want to hit. Come on, get up there. Ah, it's alright.
There is actually a couple other categories in this game. There's a, a complete Pokedex category, which is much longer. It's uh, six or seven hours long. Uh, I am not going to subject all of you to that today. We're just going to do a uh, quick 20 minute run. Hopefully, 20 minutes. So this is the second bonus stage. This is the Kyogre stage. You have to hit Kyogre 15 times and then you defeat him. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do is delay hitting him so that he does not use his Ice Beam attack. Which is very bad, it freezes the ball for a little bit. At least he's about one or two hits away, so I almost got it in two cycles, but that's okay. Alright, that's Kyogre 1. Uh, we can't go straight to Rayquaza next, you actually have to do Dusclops and Kyogre a second time, and then you can uh, battle Rayquaza. So that's what we're going to be working on now. Okay, that's a Pokémon that can evolve, so that's good. So that actually saves me a little time. I can go straight to the Dusclop stage. I don't have to evolve a Pokemon. So yeah, same thing again. You gotta hit 20, I think, of these. Okay, that is the last Dusclop stage I have to do, so now we have to get to Kyogre again, catch him. You can catch Kyogre when you beat him a second time. Thank you. 
that is a Pokemon that cannot evolve. So everything is okay. Everything's under control. Um, just losing a little bit of time. <laughs> Uh, the reason I want Pokemon that can evolve is because it fills up two of the Pokeball lights when you evolve one, which is, you'll see those uh, after this cutscene. Uh, so you can get to the bonus stages faster by catching and then evolving rather than catching three of them separately. I will try to catch another Pokemon here. Wait, did I ha I have a Pokemon that can evolve? Oh, that's right, I caught the Carvana and then I didn't evolve it. <laughs> I forgot about that. If that Latias light that says Saver is lit, then you don't actually lose a life in this game. Pokemon Pinball is absolutely nothing like real pinball, I'll tell you that. Uh, you can just tilt, you probably notice I've been tilting the table a lot, which you can actually do in real pinball, it'll uh, freeze the game if you do that. Okay, it's time for Kyogre 2 now, if I can just get into the slots after missing 100 times, okay. So on Kyogre 2, I actually have to hit him 17 times compared to the 15 in the first try. Uh, I don't know why that is, it's just two more times to catch him. And when I finish this bonus stage, we will be able to go to the Rayquaza stage, which is uh, the last stage of the run. So there, I actually did get hit by the ice, the ice beam, but that's okay. And you don't actually lose the bonus stage if you lose the ball. But... I don't know if that counted as a hit. I think he turned red, so I'll take that. Should be a few hits away. Alright, there's Catching Kyogre, and I believe uh, the next slot machine I have here should have the Rayquaza bonus stage in it, if I remember right. 
So I can just go straight there, don't have to catch or evolve anything. I could be remembering wrong, so we'll see. Yes, it does. Okay, so just don't screw this up. Alright, this is the last one. Uh, so time will be coming up when on the last hit, if anyone's listening, I don't know. Time will come up on the last hit when my Pokeball disappears. That's when timing ends. This bonus stage is very tricky. I will do my best not to throw. Um, you can see Rayquaza actually bobs up and down. You can only hit him when he's down. So I'm going to let my ball fall there because he's about to, yeah, do that. And it will make your ball fly all over the place, but having control is much more important. Uh, if the ball falls into one of those tornadoes, it will, you'll see right here, I'll lose it for a little bit. And I can't really control it until it comes back down. Uh, 17 hits to beat him in this one as well. I don't know what my count is, I usually never keep count. Uh, if Rayquaza is only one hit away from being defeated, he will not use that Thunderbolt. So if you, when he comes back down after this, uh, if he does not use the Thunderbolt, that means he's one hit away, which means I'm one hit away from finishing the stage. Nothing I can do about that, sometimes the twisters just spawn like that. Okay, so he has one hit away because he left without Thunderbolting. So all I have to do is hit him one more time, and on the next hit that'll be time. And that's time. So yeah, that was Pokemon Pinball. Uh, that's... there's actually... you know, if you want to catch Rayquaza in this game, you have to do the whole process all over again, so... Dusclops Kyogre, Dusclops Kyogre, and then Rayquaza, then you can catch him. We don't do that in the speedrun because it would just essentially be the same run twice. Um, but anyway, thanks so much for letting me uh, host, or not host, but you know, uh, be on the stream, participate in this marathon. This is my first marathon for anything, really. Uh, I did want to give a quick shout out to um, Amoeba, which if you've been in Pokemon speedrunning, you you probably know of him. He's actually the pinball record holder in this category. Uh, and he's been going through, uh, you know, a, a lot of hardships right now. So I just wanted to uh, say I hope he's doing well. And he's basically taught me everything about this game. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty much done. I just also wanted to give a shout out to my, my best friend, uh, Callow Crow just for encouraging me and telling me that I can do this, even though I've, I was afraid that I wouldn't do that well. Yeah. Um, that's about it. I, if, if I could get a non-binary pride emotes in the chat for them, that, that would be awesome. <laughs> anyway, I'm I'm done. Is, is there a host here? Yeah. yeah. Oh, hey, uh, yeah. <laughs> hey, good job, Andy. Uh, thanks for being able to show off. Was I, was I over estimate? I hope not. Oh no no you are underestimate you got a twenty one oh five by by our time so oh jeez very not very good, good but whatever <laughs> underestimate so that's good but it's all that matters yeah, yeah we appreciate uh, you taking the time to be able to run this for us uh, in another Hoenn region so I'm not biased but I think Hoenn's the best so I'd love to see uh, Hoenn be featured so uh, cool. Yeah.